lovelies it's your girl casual christy so today i am doing a first impressions video and it is on nivea men's sensitive post shave balm i know i know you're like what girl okay if you've noticed in the youtube beauty community i've seen a ton of people raving that the nivea men's sensitive balm um is a excellent excellent um primer for your skin before putting on your makeup now i've kind of been on the hunt for like a really good inexpensive primer because let's be honest primer is something that you can go through a lot now it's nice to have the high-end ones don't get me wrong if you could you know throw out them coins get that do you boo but you know sometimes it's nice to have a cheaper alternative um that you may want to use on a more everyday basis and save your nicer primers for more events um I had been using previously the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It's okay, it doesn't, but the problem for me is it doesn't hold back any oil. While it does help with my pores a little bit, and I say a little bit because it's not perfect, um, it just doesn't do anything in terms of oil. So I've been on the search, and as you can see, I'm already getting, I just swatched my face, and look, I'm already getting oily. Um, it's hot too today, so, so I've been on the hunt for, um, something that will help me um, keep the, the oil at bay and I wanted to use and I wanted to find a really good primer that doesn't necessarily cost 30 or 40 dollars so today we're going to do a first impressions of the Nivea Shave Balm I'm going to put it on um apply it to my skin this is I haven't smelled it I haven't opened it you guys don't know like the first thing I thought of was like oh my god am I going to smell like a man because I heard mixed reviews of like some people said they smell like a man a man some people said they did it so I have been wanting but I just I wanted this to be a true first impressions and not open it um, and and experience together one of the things that stood out to me about it that was already showing like mmm when you look at the ingredients the first ingredient is water the next ingredient is glycerin glycerin is just a if you look at most makeup products particularly primers and things like that you will find glycerin a lot of skincare products have that um glycerin is really useful for like help your skin retaining moisture um and just keeping it balanced but it also has chamomile extract, which is like the third, one, two, three, four. The fourth ingredient is chamomile. The fifth ingredient is witch hazel. So to me, that um, really stood out because both of those ingredients are really good for the skin. Both have anti-inflammatory um, properties to them, especially witch hazel. Witch hazel also kind of works as an astringent, so it kind of keeps your skin, um, you know, just clean and anti and kind of gets at the bacteria a lot of people even use witch hazel as a toner and to top it all off this I paid like it's normally like a little over five dollars at Target and I got it on clear on sale for $4.19 so this ends up being like the bomb like that's amazing because you get 3.3 ounces like let me know what primer you can get um that works great so let's just go ahead and open it here is the bottle um and like I said, you get a really good amount. Let's see. This doesn't... It doesn't... To me, it doesn't smell like anything. The only thing that kind of sucks is like a big bottle. So I'm like, I don't even know how much I should use. That's the only thing like... And as you can see, it is... It's definitely a watery product. And it has like a milky... I mean, there's like a... The, the slightest... Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This feels really nice on the skin. Like, it feels, even though it's watery, it has... Okay, I can smell the cologne a little bit, but it's not... It doesn't bother me at all. Like, I feel like there are women's perfume that could be just as strong. This feels amazing. Okay, now I'm starting to smell like my husband. <laughs> But it's not bad, I like it. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, well we have to see how it works, but as far as like, I could, oop, pour too much. I could legit use this as a face moisturizer right about now. This is amazing. It's like weird, it's, it feels like my skin immediately feels refreshed. Like I don't know how else to describe it, but.
love it. Like it just, I almost feel like I wouldn't even need for the summer because of the glycerin in it. I almost feel like I may not even need them. What? Oh my God. And it's weird. Like they say, so if you haven't um, seen Nikki tutorials was literally the one who kind of started this. Um, now I know she says, I've seen a few videos that says it actually works better if you rub it to the point where it gets tacky almost. Well, it doesn't feel like it's getting tacky. I know she said to rub it in to the point of it getting tacky, but I feel like I'll be rubbing for five minutes, so I'm gonna move on. All right, so I am going to, so first impression is just putting it on my skin. I am going, it, it just, it feels very refreshing. It feels cool, it feels moisturizing. There is a hint of cologne smell, but um, I kind of like it. I know some women even wear cologne, um, but I actually like this smell a lot. It's not, and it even says on the box that it's lightly scented, which I completely agree. Like, it's so light that you, it just smells good to me. Like, I don't feel like self-conscious about it or anything like that. Like, I actually like, I just, I don't know. Like, you've ever like cuddled up with your like boo and you kind of get his smell on you. That's kind of how it is. That's the best way to describe it. Like, you just get that little slight scent that you know will eventually air out but I feel like it would probably mix the perfume really well but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation which is gonna be a little bit of a trick because I got the slightest tan over the weekend and I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna come out so we'll like how my color is right now so um, but I'm gonna use my naked skin foundation like I've been using with um, the Maybelline and we shall see. I probably have to use a little bit more Maybelline this time. So I am going to use this e.l.f. Um, I think it's called the Ultimate Blending Brush. I've been really enjoying this. I'm just going to use this instead of my flat top. Kabuki. I'm just... I feel like... No, mind you, this is pretty much the foundation I've been using. And I already feel... Oh my god, okay. Yep. She looks like immediately my I feel like my foundation um slash BB cream is like blending so much easier. Now granted this brush makes it easier too. So this is a brush I know blends well, but I feel like for what I would normally do, like I'll have to do a lot. Um I feel like it's just blending like really well and what's interesting is if you see my review of the naked skin foundation um when I first put it on it's just the weirdest thing when I first put it on it sort of grabs to my little patchy areas right here it eventually like sinks in but it just doesn't sink in right away and I feel like I don't even see it this I don't even see it the same way that I normally do I even feel like my pores are like good like I don't I mean I could always probably use a little bit more pore filler because like y'all yeah, my pores is craters on the moon okay get up close and quick thoughts I feel like this has really just helped the makeup not only blend easier it's helping it um it just created a smoother surface that I wasn't expecting now the test is going to be to see how it's gonna do with the oil. Now I will powder and stuff as usual, like I'm not gonna be obnoxious and not powder because, and I say obnoxious for me, cause as it gets warm, I'm oil, I'm oil slick right here. And all in here is just, it's a hot mess, so I have to powder. So what I'm gonna do is finish up my makeup and then I'll come back on with um, full face. And then what I'll do is check out, check in throughout the day, um, just letting you know, okay, how long it's been since I put the makeup on like it is 12:57 right now so it's like one o'clock right now um and I'm gonna just wear this makeup throughout the day I don't know I may have some errands and things to run but I'll check in um right after I finish my face okay so I just finished my makeup and um I still have to finish my hair and do my nails and stuff but I just wanted to come back on really quickly and say that one thing I noticed immediately um, with this is that for one I felt like my 
powders like my bronzer and my blush was just blending like just so much more easier like it was funny because I caught myself like okay I feel like I should still be blending more and I didn't I really didn't need to so I am already in love with this product like I I I'm just in love I'm in love with it I'm in love with it that's all I can say yeah. Uriah wants some pizza. So I'm gonna stop here. I'll check in later with you um, and go get him some pizza. Well, I have to do my hair and my nails and stuff, but I'll check in some time yeah. later. We're getting pizza right now. Okay, so I just wanna do, let me zoom in, get closer. I wanted to do a check in on the Nivea makeup. I actually, okay, I actually just finished recording a video and I just wanted to see like, I have like no shine right now. Hold on. Let me see. Grab the camera. Okay, really quick check in on the Nivea. The makeup has been on my face now for about, mm, I want to say an hour. Actually, let me put my glasses on. I cannot even see. You know, you're blind when you lose your glasses and you can't find those. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I actually just finished recording a video and I've had the makeup on, sorry for the glare, for about four hours now. And um, this Nivea is really holding up. I'm a little, little bit oily, but part of that is because I just put a ton, it's kind of hard to tell, I wasn't thinking and I put a bunch of coconut oil in my hair um, because I just washed it and I got it like first day hair where you're trying to puff it up, but anyway. Um, I have a little bit of oil on my forehead, but I know that's because I put the coconut oil in my hair. So that wasn't fair, but one, the place I usually get oily the most is like right here too. And I just have like no oil right now. Um, I have like my highlight is booming, but I don't have any oil. So I think I'm ready to say that I, I love this. Like, I love I've it. I've been out, I forgot to mention too, like I've been outside, I've been like, running errands, so I have been out in the heat and it's holding up to me what I think really well. And it also gets really, really hot in the room when I'm recording because I um, the AC doesn't work that great upstairs and I don't like to have the fan on because it's like background noise. But yeah, I'm hot and I would be so much more greasy right now. I'll try to do one more final check-in um, with you, but so far, I love this. This is a great alternative. Go and try it. With that said, I am going to go and relax for a little bit. I have to do a little bit of editing and some writing and be a mommy and wife and all that stuff. So I'll check in later. Okay, so this is my last check-in for the night for the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I forgot to mention that it has to be the Post Shave Balm, not anything prior. Um, I love this. Okay. <laughs> I, I, listen, it's 9.30, 9.53 actually, and I'm tired. I have to still give my son a shower. Um, and you know, clean the kitchen and all that other stuff. Excuse me if I have like lettuce on my face. I just, um, I had a salad because I was feeling hungry again. And you know how that is, like, so we're going to Florida and I'm trying to lose some more pounds and so I finished dinner was a little bit more hungry so I just ate a salad pray for me y'all because right now I just want to bust open the ice cream but anyway um back to Nivea this is amazing right here now I want to be clear I think um I don't want to come off as like bashing high-end primers because I enjoy high-end makeup as well. That's not what I was trying to do at all. And I actually was looking at the footage from earlier and I was like, ooh, I seem a little. No, I think there is, I don't think there's anything wrong with investing in good high-end um, quality primers at all. Here's the thing, high-end or not, this is just a great item to use. And if it's, I, I feel like I have a little bit, let me, I can't, I had to take my glasses off because the lights aren't on. I got no I'm blind. I have a little bit of shine on my head, but again, I told you I put coconut oil in my hair, so I feel like I'm just gonna look a little greasy anyway because the oil is coming down. Um, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I put it in my hair, but 
I wasn't, that was a problem. This is absolutely amazing. I um, will give you a follow up if I experience like any negative effects of having this on my skin, like if I broke out or anything. Honestly, I really, really doubt it. I feel like the entire day, now don't get me wrong, the Naked Skin Foundation already feels kind of naked, uh, but when I miss, when I mix it with my Maybelline BB Cream, it gets a little bit thicker, so sometimes I just feel it a little bit more. Using this, I felt like it went back to feeling like it was just using the Naked Skin. Now, I do need to get a darker, I need to just go ahead and get the Naked Skin in a darker shade because I really do enjoy that foundation. Um, and it's getting to be summertime and I need to find a darker color, but that's not the point. This is amazing. I suggest going out and trying it because even if, if it doesn't work for you, it's $5. You can return it. You can return most items or you can give it to um, a boyfriend, husband, brother, uncle, dad, whoever, and let them try it out. So um, it's not too much love loss if you don't like it. But I think it's something that everyone should try. I enjoy the smell, but honestly the smell, it went away probably like 15 20 minutes later i don't even i didn't even smell it anymore so it's not a smell that lingers at all i wouldn't mind if it did to be honest um i'm amazed and don't be surprised if you see this in my june favorites because most likely it's gonna end up there so you girl really sleepy i'm rambling i'm gonna end the video here so if you like this video please make sure to actually like the video it helps other viewers be able to see it and share it with your friends Please don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to go to bed.